what is going on guys my name is fusions and today we're going to be opening up this bakugan evolutions elemental hellcore so let's open it up guys today we're going to be opening up a rare bakugan from bakugan evolutions this is elemental hellcore how can you tell it's an elemental well look at this gold border and this is a pretty rare elemental as well because i only found one and i go baku hunting a lot so the fact that i just found one ever in all my baku hunting uh trips it says a lot i mean i want to know if you guys have this do you guys have an elemental halcor let me know in the comments because i'm pretty curious to see what um how many people have this but yeah it's an elemental so it's a rare and it's Halcor. Let's turn this around and let's see what we got in here. So we got Elemental Halcor. You can tell right there because of the faction symbol. We do have a gate card, character card, and two Baku cores. Let's get started. Let's open this up. It's sad that I did not find a second one because I do like having a sealed collection. So I like to open one for you guys on the channel. But then I also like to keep one sealed for myself. And for this one... I can't do that because I only found one. Okay, let me see. All right. So here is the Bakugan. Looking pretty cool. I like the elemental pattern on Darkest. And we do have this bag that contains everything else in here. Let's take a look at this. If I can open it. There we go. Oops, I dropped the cores. There they are. Okay, so. First of all, we do have a list from Bakugan Evolutions. We've seen this list everywhere. Just a quick peek. Prisma Dragonoids right there. Pretty cool. Just a quick peek for those of you that somehow have never seen that. We do have the character card, but first we're going to take a look at the gate card. Here it is. Oh, we've seen this one a lot. Gate card number two in the set. It looks like a Pentator is getting attacked by a Nilius. Yeah, we've seen this one a lot. So not a new one. We do have two cores both shields regular shield and magic shield the magic shield is a plus 500 b not a bad one but not the best one we do have a regular shield plus 300 b not a bad one again but it's still not the best one i mean nice core lineup though so pretty good now we do have the character card here let's take a look at the stats of this dude it is an elemental so let's see if it has the elemental character card here it is and it does not it just has a regular character card i wish they had special elemental character cards for these elemental bakugan at least this one doesn't i don't think it does i feel like it would have looked different but here it is it is a darkest halcor it does have one regular shield one magic shield 100 b power which is the lowest that you can have on a bakugan as a base stat seven damage though so you can definitely go damage wins with this bakugan if you get to grab a core that gives you even more damage that's pretty good so a lot of damage not that much b power but it does have two abilities here two bonuses so if you land on a magic shield you get to add another core from the field onto this bakugan which is pretty good nice but if you land on a uh, shield regular shield you get to steal your opponent's core and attach it to hell core so i think that might be the play leaving your bot your opponent's bakugan with no core but then again you can kind of do this other ability here where you can attach a second core onto this bakugan now these abilities only activate if you land on the core so you cannot attach a um a regular shield to activate the second ability here because you have to land on that shield you can't just attach it and then it does it so yeah keep that in mind so whenever you play with this if you are going to play with a bakugan that has these abilities you have to make sure you land so then they actually activate so now the highest b power that you can get with this one is probably landing on a magic shield and then using that ability to attach another magic shield onto it and you will get all the way up to 1400 b power and seven damage which is not too bad but 1400 might be a little low for what you really want but again it does have seven damage so that's pretty good you can also just use this uh, magic shield and then attach another core that you might need to activate a nanogun or you can attach another core that can give you um like gear reduction so you can have a gear reduction 
core so yeah there's lots of different plates that you can do with this one i do like the abilities here so that's pretty cool but i mean let me know in the comments what you guys think would you guys play this one i just like the abilities i like that you have options but let me know in the comments what you guys think now let's take a look at the background itself here it is here is this rare elemental how core okay so i gotta be honest i never really liked this mold for hardcore i didn't like the heads being on the side like this i don't know why that just doesn't seem like too good for me I, I don't know i just didn't like that these are all the way out here but i mean you guys can always let me know in the comments below if you like how this hardcore looks i do like the elemental um patterns here that purple looks amazing i've said it in every elemental uh darkest bakugan that we've opened the the elemental part of darkest looks pretty cool i do like the purple with the black mixed in like all those different colors like pink as well yeah, i think it looks pretty cool i feel like i could have used some more elemental treatment on here because most of it, it is that translucent black with some silver. As you can see, all the top here is kind of like silver color, shiny silver. But I feel like they should have put more elemental on it. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this one? I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad. But let me know in the comments if you like it or not. Okay, so now let's close this bog gun. But first of all, I got to show you this. So this is a manual part that you can actually take out. It's like basically like a little tail that you can take out like that so that's pretty cool just extra stuff is always nice so we got to push that in when we do want to close it so there we go now the legs go first so the front legs then the back legs and make sure you hold it from there so they don't come out then the heads first the middle head just put it or first push this down to the back like this there we go sometimes it gets a little stuck then the middle head goes down and then both of the other heads go in and they should lock all together and that is how you close this elemental hell core pretty cool like i said i do like the elemental pattern let's roll it onto this core and let's see it open up let's go three two one brawl and there it is there's this pretty cool elemental hell core so that's it for this opening of this really cool rare elemental halcor bakugan i think the bakugan looks nice like i said i don't like the mold too much but i think the elemental colors do look really good on it the stats of this bakugan are okay i do think that you're gonna have to use this to activate some nanogons maybe with the abilities and it does have a good core lineup as well so that's you, you gotta give it that for sure and another thing that you can do is maybe play some gears with it that way you can grab extra cores, extra gear reductions. So maybe that's what you could do with this one. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. And let me know if you have it. Because like I said, to me it was pretty rare. This is the only one that I have. So I want to know if you guys have it. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Bakugan openings. And don't forget to vote down in the comments below for which Bakugan product I should open up next. Thanks for watching guys and peace out.